Now, when we start talking about raising money and capital and, and investing and all that kind of stuff, a key thing that we have to talk about is credit and debt. And again, this is maybe something that you probably haven't spent a whole lot of time thinking about. But in my mind, this gets to the crux. This is really getting to the heart of understanding what it is to raise capital, what it is to attract money to your deals, how to find you know, other people's money. So what's the difference between credit and debt? Um, what I would say is how much credit you have available to you to borrow if you want to borrow it. Okay, but we had that, that assumes that we know what credit means, right? You didn't define credit. Okay. So what is credit? Do you see the challenge know. here? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, good. Good answer. Because that's the point, is that we, we don't think about these words very hard. And then we think, oh, credit, that's like, you know, credit card, right? No, that's not what credit is. I see credit as leverage. Leverage? Yeah, to, okay. to be able to, um, you know, with credit, to increase productivity, to increase, okay. to have leverage. So leverage, so to increase productivity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jerry? Credit is just uh, debt. Delayed, because, I mean, if you have credit, that's an obligation, so it's a debt. <laughs> Okay, so if I um, so if I go to the bank, or if if I have really good credit and someone's willing to lend me credit, or you're willing to lend me some money based on my credit, is that debt? It's your debt to me. In order for me to extend you credit, you you will then have a debt. You can't create a credit without having an obligation of debt. Sure, you can. See, this is the point, is there's a distinction between credit and debt. So I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong, I'm giving you my view, right. and I think it'll start to come a little clearer. But the point is, credit can be used in a number of different ways, right? But See, it's always an obligation. At, well, what you're looking at credit is as having already been taken. You've, been, you've taken credit, right? That's not what credit necessarily is. Like, I have, if I go and get a line of credit on my, my, my house, I have credit, but I have no debt. Not until you utilize the credit. Right. Then that's the point. Yeah. Right. So that's the distinction. Right? Gordon? I would say that credit is the degree to which other people trust us to do what we say we're going oh. to do. Just looking for my notes on this. So, that's different. So say that again, because I think that, that's, uh, that's it, important. It's the degree to which other people trust us to do what we say we're going to do. Okay. In the case of borrowing money, it would be to repay the money or to um, do the business endeavor that we say is going to produce it, revenue and so forth. But it's... It's our trustworthiness. Okay, great. Thank you. Wait. The amount of goodwill available to you, which can come in any shape or form, or in many shapes and forms. Goodwill. Okay, good. So it doesn't necessarily have to do with debt. Is everybody starting to see this? Are these definitions making sense? I mean, everything that everybody has said in, in some way is correct, right? Yeah. I see credit as supply, having uh, the resources. Supply, resources. So access to resources. Access to resources. Okay. Okay, one more. I think they're exactly the same thing. You think they're the same thing? It's just depending how you look at it, whether you're positive or negative. It is depending on how you look at it. But is, is, is a gun good or bad? Depending, depending on what you use it for. Right, so does it matter how we frame whether it's good or bad? And that's the point. So, I mean, that's a good, that, but that's the message that I'm trying to deliver, is that a lot of people think, well, credit and debt, it's kind of the same thing. And in some specific distinctions, yes, it's the same. You know, a credit card can be debt, 
but they're not the same thing. And I looked up the dictionary just to kind of see what the dictionary would say, and it actually w was a little revealing on this. So the definition of debt was an obligation or liability to pay or render something. So that's what a debt is. It's an obligation to, to repay some kind of uh, commitment. The definition of credit was entitling a person to be trusted in buying or borrowing. So that word trust comes up again. So here's... Sure, I'll repeat that. So the definition of debt, an obligation or liability to pay or render something. Because keep in mind, debts don't have to be money. If you do, do me a huge favor, for example, well, I owe you a debt of gratitude or a debt that I want to repay. It may not be in money, but reciprocity will tell me that I want to you know, pay you back. So that's one key thing is debt doesn't always have to come down to money. So the definition of credit, entitling a person to be trusted in buying or borrowing. And the key word in there, of course, is trust. So in my mind, the distinction between credit and debt, debt is something that happened in the past. Credit is about the present and the future. And if you think about this, in order for a debt to be created, and I'm talking like the concept of a debt, we're not getting into what money is and all that stuff, we'll get that in a minute. But in terms of a debt to be created, it must be preceded by credit. So in other words, credit credit precedes debt. In order to create a debt or an obligation, you have to have the credit to have created the debt in the first place. Does that make sense? And again, this is, this is vocabulary, and I think this is really important for us to go through because these are the distinctions that you need to understand as an investor. Okay. Now, let me, let me take it one step further, that if we look at what credit really is, and we heard it a few times already, we heard the word trust. Right? Here's what I think credit is. Credit is equal to credibility. That's what credit really is. And if you look at that word credibility, it's really... It's credit ability. So credit is all about the ability that you have. It's your credibility. It's the trust that people have for you. It's the respect that they have. It's whether, whether they hold you in esteem. And to the extent that you have credibility, that opens the door for you to be able to borrow other people's money. 